1963 Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 67 plus full bands by PCGS. PCGS designates full bands for Roosevelt Dimes that grade MS60 or better and show full separation of the upper and lower horizontal bands of the torch on the reverse. To qualify for this designation, a coin must also show no significant cuts or marks across the horizontal bands. The mintage of the 1963 Roosevelt dime was an enormous 123 million plus pieces, but most certified examples are no better than gem condition due to small surface marks, as a rule. This MS67 plus gem ended up selling for $5,581.25. Number 7. Nineteen sixty five Washington quarter struck on a ninety per cent silver planchet. Rare transitional alloy error. NGC assigned AU details for this allegedly clean quarter dollar. A search of our online archives reveals a dozen prior appearances of nineteen sixty five quarters on ninety per cent silver planchets. Although untold millions of silver quarters were struck in nineteen sixty five, those pieces were on one thousand nine hundred sixty four date dies, aside from a few dozen transitional alloy errors. This example is lightly toned aside from hints of russet pattern on the reverse margin near 4 o'clock. The satiny surfaces display faint hairlines. It was sold for $5,880. Number 6. 1965 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime blank. Another transitional error made by U.S. Mint. In 1965, the United States Mint transitioned from using 90% silver in dimes, quarters, and half dollars to a copper nickel clad composition. The planchets for the new clad coins were of a different metal content than the silver planchets. However, some silver planchets remained in the production process and were accidentally used to strike Roosevelt dimes and even Lincoln cents, as in this case. These transitional errors are relatively rare and are sought after by collectors. This rare error coin fetched a sum of $6,600. Number 5. 1955 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded as MS63 Plus Red by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1955 Double Die Lincoln Cent is unquestionably the most famous double die coin in the entire Lincoln Cent series and possibly, even the most famous double die coin in numismatics. Doubling is boldly evident on all obverse letterings and the date. The 1955 double dies were created when the mint struck a working hub and a working die together while they were both slightly rotated differently from one another. This MS63 plus specimen ended up selling for $7,156.25 with buyer's fee. Number 4. 1972 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS67 plus read by PCGS and approved by CAC. This spectacular superb gem shows strong doubling on the date, liberty and in God we trust. The design elements are sharply struck and the impeccably preserved original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster. I appeal is excellent. It was sold for $7,492.50 with buyer's fee. Number 3. 1952 S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as MS68 Plus by PCGS. According to NGC, this issue enjoyed the highest mintage of Roosevelt dimes from San Francisco, and it is plentiful across all grades through MS67. Full torch examples comprise a higher percentage than usual for S mint dimes and are scarce, but not truly rare. But anything grading higher than MS68 are relatively rare. This toned MS68 plus specimen was bargained for $8,831.25 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 1965 Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded as MS67 Plus by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a truly astounding example, notable for its superior preservation and remarkable patina. The toning is dynamic and jewel-like, glowing with blended shades of iridescent antique gold, powder blue and salmon pink that sees the most vivid colors confined to the peripheries. The surfaces are intensely lustrous with a fully frosted, silky smooth texture. It ended up selling for $9,000. Number 1. Attractively toned 1955 Roosevelt Dime in Mint State 68. According to NGC, dime production plunged at all three mints during 1955, with Philadelphia registering the lowest mintage of any Roosevelt Dime made for general circulation. 
Since monthly mintage figures were published in coin periodicals of the time, collectors and speculator knew almost immediately that this was an issue to hoard, so there will never be a shortage of 1955 P dimes in mint state. Most examples are a bit softly struck from overuse of the dies, and the discriminating collectors will seek a sharp specimen from among the great many certified gems. Full torch coins are rare, due to the poor quality control practiced by the mint. This MS-68 specimen ended up selling for $9,300. That's all folks. Please make sure to hit subscribe and like buttons before you watch another video. Stay tuned to CoinOz. Take care.